So there have been communal clashes that have now been pre prevented in Andhra Pradesh's Nellore district and tensions were seen when a Hanuman Yatra was crossing a mosque in Nellore yesterday. As per the police, people in the procession increased the volume of the DJ outside mosque, leading to Allahu Akbar slogans being raised from the mosque in response. Now these videos show people gathered in the mosque raising slogans and flashing objectionable signs at the processions. However, now the cops intervened to ensure that there was no escalation. Entire procession is went off very peacefully. Almost uh, four uh, five thousand crowd have been participated in the bike rally. And at one point of time, and uh, they crossed uh, the mosque. Uh, at uh, reaching the mosque, and uh, DJ sound have been a little louder, and the bike sounds also. Uh, the, Youth have been made the, some bike sounds and chanting the, the with the slogans of Jai Shri Ram, and at the same time the youth inside the uh, mosque they are saying the Allahu Akbar. Uh, except that there is no throwing of stones or no clashes and no throwing of bottles or nothing. No such instances happened. And we have some more breaking news coming in of the BJP that has now blamed the and pinned the blame on Jagan's government. Questioning inaction of the Jagan Sarkar and slamming vote ban politics. Listen in. Hindu Samaj is very angry with this incident and we blame the Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy and his YSRCP government that they are indulged in mere vote ban politics and they are supporting such type of acts. Recently, in Kadapa district, the local SP conducted one press conference and said that in Rayal Sima region, nearby area of Nellore, SDPI and PFI are conducting training camps. These such type of fundamentalist and terrorist organizations, what they are doing in Andhra Pradesh, why Jagan Mohan Reddy is not taking action on it. Once again, a peaceful Hindu Shobha Yatra has been targeted in Nellore even though due police permission was taken by the Hindus and they were moving along in a peaceful manner. When they approached and were crossing a religious structure of a Vishesh Samudai, there was incitement by slogans, there was sloganeering and then there was stone pelting and throwing of beer bottle at the Hindu idols. This was completely unprovoked and now the question also remains that how is it that despite police permission, there is a special article 370 applied in the name of vote bank a veto. Going across to my colleague uh, Swamit, who's also joining us live on this broadcast. And Swamit, after there were communal clashes that were averted by the local police there, we are seeing how the BJP is now coming out and blaming uh, the government in the state for inaction. Well, you know, exactly that is what BJP is claiming. And I uh, you know we have saw what happened there in the Nellore. Actually, after Hanuman Jayanti, these uh, processions will be happening, you know, will be organized by the Hindus in each and every district. And uh, that was a 5.5 kilometer long, uh, you know, uh, uh, a procession started in the Nellore district. And uh, meanwhile, when passing through a mosque, uh, they were seen, you know, the allegations were, you know, uh, the Hindus have increased the volume of the speaker boxes. But on the other hand, uh, uh, the police are verifying it. And uh, Muslims have also chanted Allah Akbar and also, you know, uh, uh, have shown some uh, objectionable uh, gestures and uh, uh, later after that police have, uh, you know, seized some video evidences and also said that they are inquiring into the matter and also asked for the legal opinion. And BJP, the uh, AP co in charge and other BJP leaders have, you know, uh, saying that because of the uh, vote uh, politics and also, you know, minority appeasement, uh, the government is not initiating any action and just they are inquiring into the matter. And also, they are also alleging that stones and uh, bottles were also pelted on the the, um, uh, processionist and uh, actually police intervened into the matter and uh, before the issue uh, could get bit bigger uh, they have uh, took the situation into control and uh, prevented the issues there yes stay with us meanwhile we have a response coming in from the state government that has now claimed that certain political parties were trying to vitiate the atmosphere this is uh, amjad basha the deputy chief minister of andhra pradesh stating that india is a democratic country people from different religions are free to practice their faith but I believe few political parties are doing so for political gains. Listen in. ये हिंदुस्तान एक जमहूरी मुल्क है जो धर्म मानते हैं उसके ऊपर वो अमल कर सकते हैं मगर दूसरों को उससे नुकसान पहुंचाना 
ये अच्छी बात नहीं है मैं समझता हूँ कि कुछ पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज ये सिर्फ उनके पॉलिटिकल के लिए पॉलिटिकल क्या बोलते हैं माइलेज के लिए ये सब काम कर रहे हैं ये अच्छी बात नहीं है आवाम को सब कुछ अच्छी तरीके से मालूम है आवाम जो गवर्नमेंट जो पार्टी जो सबको मिला के आगे चलेगी ऐसे पार्टी के साथ रहेंगे So, Amit, we have that response coming in from the deputy chief minister of the state, who has now, in a way, blamed certain political parties for vitiating the atmosphere in the region. Well, you know, blame game is on. That's what we can say because uh, you know, uh, uh, his uh, mainly comparing a few incidents like what happened in Kadapa, what happened in Karnool, and what's what happened in Nello. BJP is alleging that you know, vote bank politics is can can be seen with the ruling government, and ruling government is saying that few political parties that they they clearly meant that you know, Deputy CM Amjad Basha has clearly meant BJP party is doing for the mileage to the party, and you know, politically motivated incidents. That is what he was alleging, and he said that you know, they shouldn't be doing that such politics. politics and should also uh, you know ensure that uh, these demographic uh, uh, you know the uh, incidents which are happening in the andhra pradesh shouldn't be happening and also uh, bjp can be seen alleging you know uh, uh, the ruling government not initiating any action against the pfi uh, you know few people few pfi activists were also seen in the uh, riots which happened in the right. uh, you know kadappa and karnool district even earlier and even that that incident was quoted by the ap uh, co in charge and yes. also amjad basha is saying that you know uh, bjp is doing it for the so clearly uh, political, it's a political blame game that has now begun in andhra pradesh uh, meanwhile the police authorities made sure that the communal clashes were averted thank you so much swamit for getting us the latest we'll move on